here. <laughs> transfer the spirit of Austria, Austria to Special Olympics. Because Austria is Special Olympics. I mean, we don't, uh, there's no place it has to go, and it's here. Mr. Schreiber, a huge event is going to take place in Austria only a couple of months away. Uh, I guess you're already excited. Yeah, it's, tr it's fantastic. We're seeing terrific preparations here. The, uh, the volunteer spirit is strong in Austria. The commitment to including people with intellectual differences is I'm seeing all over the country and uh, we're very hopeful that the games will be a huge success. Uh, I'm here today to inspire and I hope and get, engage young people in, in their health professions in ensuring that people with intellectual disabilities have access to equal quality health. We still have obstacles. Still people with intellectual disabilities are denied access too frequently to health care. Still too frequently they're unemployed. Still too frequently they're alone in school still too frequently the sports clubs aren't ready and open. I'm here today to ask young people who are committing themselves to careers in health to make sure that they have health justice in their practice. Open your practices to all people, including people with intellectual challenges. They may present some unique health challenges, but give them the care they deserve so that we can have a more just and more equitable Austria. Event. Well, I too would like to thank all of you for being here, for, to President Feitler, to Dr. Riegler, uh, to Mark and Max, uh, our team here in Special Olympics Austria, uh, to, uh, to Peter Wheeler, my colleague, uh, who's uh, largely responsible for world games all over the world, I'm and especially sorry, for a strong yes. commitment and relationship between Special Olympics International and our work here in, with Special Olympics Austria. We're ready for your help, your leadership in the years to come. Thanks again. And what was your idea? What do you expect if you declare this year for inclusion? So maybe you can give us some information on that. Okay. Mm. So thank you very much for this impressive presentation and for this convincing impression and in analogy to the saying of President Kennedy, we always ask ourselves, what can we do for our students? And we want to encourage our students to think, what can they do for the society? And that's a big challenge. We have this next year under the topic of inclusion in all departments, because we think it's not only a topic of health studies or social studies, it's a topic of informatics, if you look to what can computers contribute, or for example to engineers. Yeah.